Welcome to part 7 of this series and in this video we're going to add reflections to our table and set up the passes to compose it in Nuke. So let's jump straight to the point. The first things that we have to do is enable one add-on which is this import images plane. Go to edit, preference, add-on and in this search box type image and check this tick box. Now we're good to go. Let's import our footage by hitting shift A, image image is plain find your key out footage folder select the first one and hit A uh, to select the whole frame tick this animate sequence and change this from straight to pre-multiply and then click on this image import as plain button now press period on the number pad uh, this will grab you to your active selection I'll bring this near to our character and we need this plane to face directly at our camera so we're gonna use constraint to do that Select this object constraint properties and make sure you select the, the plane and not the camera. Select this copy rotation. Click on this eyedropper icon and pick the camera. Now whenever I rotate the camera, this plane will always stay perpendicular to this camera. Now let's see what we've got so far. Disable this light and world for now and resize our plane to our character size and position. Now we can hide our character. If we just look at the render view for now, we see that the subject is too dark. And let's quickly fix that. Go to setting tab, press 0 on the number pad to go to the camera view, and let's see that again. And if you don't want to see all this overlay, you can disable it from here. Now I'll give our subject emission shader and blends with default principal shader. Shift A, shader emission shader this shader does not interact with light source uh, within this scene instead it lifts itself and lighten the whole scene we have to combine this shader with the transparent shader and mix with the mixed shader if this alpha is the mass now I'm gonna mix this result with the principal shader and take the value somewhere in between and I don't want this plane to cast shadow to this wall and I can remove this from object properties, visibility, just uncheck this part. So this is because I'll add the shadow in the compositing. Now we can see the reflections on the table. If I slide this fact value, I can get the blends between these two results so that we can uh, let the import footage receive some light to, to blend with the scene a bit better. I'll enable the shadow for now so that we don't have uh, this sharp shadow cut off uh, while we preview in the viewport. Now let me focus on the reflection a bit more. Uh, we can still increase the reflection intensity by sliding this value. Uh, the more black we add to the color ramp and then the more reflection that we're gonna see. I also add this bevel shader to fix the sharp edge. You can get this note from shift A, input and bevel. Set the radius to a smaller value. Now let's add the volumetric fork uh, back to the scene by simply connect this output to the volume input. I'll animate the camera a bit just to add some motion to the scene. You can animate manually in 3D but don't overdo this because it can break the illusion. So be careful about this. Go to the first frame, place the camera to the position where you want it to be, and hit I. Then select this location. Now, go to the last frame. Oh, by the way, we rendered 178 frames, so set that as the end frame. Now, go to the last frame and pull the camera down a bit and hit I, then location. And before we render this scene, we have to set up our render passes for Nuke. To do that, go to these layer properties and enable this denoising data. Uh, select this objects and material pass in CryptoMath. Set this to 25 frames per second and change the output file from it to open EXR multilayer. And select your output folder. You can render this as it is like you see it here, but it comes with one problem, which is if we look closely at our main subject, it looks a bit blurry as compared to the CG. Even though we key and render this in 4K, it's still blurry. 
I tried all sort of things and nothing works. So the only solution is to fix in compositing. But if this is for let's say as the background, I might not compose it again. Maybe I'll use it as it is. But in this case, this is our main subjects and I want it to look as sharp as CG. So we're gonna fix that in post. Select this plane, go to object properties and uncheck this camera. Now we can see this shadow and we don't want that. So disable this checkbox as well. So we can see the reflections on where it's supposed to be. Now we can go to this render and render this in EXR sequence. So that's it for now. We're only one part away from the last episode. And if you have any question or session, feel free to give me any thought. And I want to say thank you guys for all your support. I see this channel growing so fast within this month alone. And I already have something in my mind that looks really cool to make and show you in the next course. So stay tuned for that one. Hit the subscribe button if you're not already subscribed to this channel. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.